In a fiery address to CPAC Texas 2022, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban offered a sharp rebuke to Open Society Foundation founder and liberal megadonor George Soros. Orban, a hard right world leader beloved by conservatives and disdained by progressives, took aim at the progressive billionaire, decrying his support for migrants. Soros has sought to help the millions of refugees from the Middle East, urging European governments to welcome them in from the threats of ISIS, war in Syria, and poverty. Right-wing voices like Orban have attacked Soros, urging strict immigration policies and enforcement of border security. Orban has become a controversial figure of late, heralded by Fox News personalities like Tucker Carlson as an exemplar of leadership on issues of migration and social policy. His appearance at CPAC, well received by conservative activists, signals Orban's attempt to tie right-wing movements in both Europe and the New World together with a foundation of shared social and immigration policies. If you separate Western civilization from its Judeo-Christian heritage, diverse things in history happen. Let's be honest, the most evil things in modern history were carried out by people who hated Christianity. Don't be afraid to call your enemies by their name. You can't play safe, but they will never show mercy. Consider, for example, George Soros, as you call him here. In Hungary, in Hungary we call him Yuri Bachi, which means Uncle Georgie. The wealthiest and one of the most talented Hungarians on earth. Just a hint. Be careful with talented Hungarians. Uh, I know George Soros very well. He is my opponent. He believes in none of the things that we do. And he has an army at his service. Money, NGOs, universities, research institutions, and half the bureaucracy in Brussels. He uses this army to force his will on his opponents, like us, Hungarians. He thinks that the values dear to all of us led to the horrors of the 20th century. But the case is exactly the opposite. Our values save us from repeating history's mistakes. The horrors of Nazis and communism happened because some Western states in continental Europe abandoned their Christian values. And today's progressives are planning to do the same. They want to give up on Western values and create a new world, a post-Western world. Who is going to stop them if we don't? Dear friends, I have also learned that in order to win, it is not enough to know what you are fighting for. You also have to know how you should fight. My answer is, play by your own rules. But how do you do that? It is as simple as it sounds. You must play to win. You cannot expect victory and plan for defeat. You have to believe that you are better than your left liberal opponents are. And don't care what the liberals say. They always say you will lose. They say it cannot be done. You just have to prove them wrong. But there is one thing I have learned. We cannot fight successfully by liberal means. Because our opponents use liberal institutions, concept, and language to disguise their Marxist and hegemonist plans. Politics, my friend, are not enough. This war is a culture war. We have to revitalize, we have to revitalize our churches, our families, our universities, and our community institutions. Hungary, <laughs> Hungary is an old, proud, but David-sized nation standing alone against the woke globalist Goliath. We invite the solidarity of the American conservatives. 
They are in total attack, so we need a total defense. You have to be brave. If you feel fear, you have a job to do. The only thing we Hungarians can show you is how to fight back by our own rules. Let me give you a couple of examples. On migration. Ladies and gentlemen, we were the first ones in Europe who said no to illegal migration and stopped the invasion of illegal migrants. <laughs> we believe that stopping illegal migration is necessary to protect our nation. We in Hungary decided to ask the people whether they want illegal migration or not. We held a referendum. Hungarian people decided they don't want migration, so they don't want to play by the rules of the progressives. They rejected the false claim that migrants cannot be stopped and forced us leaders to act and we stopped illegal migration. We have actually built that wall, and it stopped illegal migration. <laughs> As Tucker Carlson said when he visited us, quote, it's not a high-tech wall, but guarded by people who love their country. And the border protection system works. During the Great Migration Crisis in 2015, 400,000 illegal migrants came to our borders. This is almost three times as much as Genghis Khan had when he invaded Europe. After we built the wall, we managed to reduce illegal migration to zero. This year, this year, we have already suffered 160,000 illegal border crossing attempts. 160,000 illegal border crossing attempts. So, we at the Hungarian borders catch every illegal migrant and escort them back to the other side of the border. The rule is simple. The rule is simple. You can apply for asylum at our embassies. But if you try to come to Hungary illegally, you will never ever make it. Even though, even though we are under pressure not only from the South, but also from the ACHET of the European Union as well. Yes, this is the case, my friend. They want us to give up our zero migration policy because they also know that this is the decisive and final battle of the future. But the future is the most important thing we can give to our children and our grandchildren. So in Hungary, we will never surrender. Dear friends, <coughs> Let's move on family policy, which is the heart of our politics. Progressives claim all over the world that families should not be protected. In Europe, they say there is no such thing as family, because love is love and family is family. If you cannot define family, nothing is a family. And they say, that Western families are the places where the oppression of the so-called patriarchy begins. But in case of family policy, in Hungary, we again played by our own rules. We know that family is the place to transfer the values of parents to the next generation. If traditional families are gone, there is nothing that can save the West from going under. Therefore, last year in Hungary, 
we spend more than 6% of our GDP on family policy. All subsidies are already available to families following conception. Families automatically get tax breaks. The state takes over your student loans after your third child. Women are exempt from paying personal income tax for life after the birth of their fourth child. And we are fighting to extend the same zero tax policy for mothers with three children. So, if you are not married yet, you should immediately find a Hungarian wife. In the, in the last 10 years, ladies and gentlemen, in the last 10 years, the number of marriages has doubled and the number of abortions has halved in Hungary. It's not a bad start. <laughs> Dear friends, in Hungary, we had to build not just a physical wall on our borders and the financial wall around our families, but the legal wall around our children to protect them from the gender ideology that targets them. Let's be clear, they think that parents should follow the progressive way of parenting. If they refuse to do so, they should be forced by the state. We Hungarians know this old communist trick and we reject it. Hungarian people rejected sexual orientation programs in schools without parental consent at a referendum again. Never before has there been a referendum in the long history of Hungary where such a huge majority of people said no to gender or anything. Now the Hungarian constitution, now the Hungarian constitution protects families and children. Let me quote a few sentences from our Hungarian fundamental law. Our constitution reads, the family and the nation constitute the principal framework of our coexistence. Hungarian state institutions are obliged to protect the Christian culture of Hungary. Hungary shall protect the institution of marriage as the union of one man and one woman. <laughs> family, ties, family ties shall be based on marriage or the relationship between parents and children. To sum up, the mother is a woman, the father is a man, and leave our kids alone. Full stop, end of discussion.